So yes, I can follow like my friend who job hop every two to three years to get 10 to 20% increment. But is that what I really want? Maybe not. Hi everyone, I'm Kang Hui, the Head of Finance and People at Provident. Basically, I come from a humble background. Both my parents did not complete their primary school education, so they can only work as a blue-collar worker doing manual labour work. I remember when I was young, our life is very simple. We do not have the privilege to go for overseas trip, neither do we have any opportunity to go for enrichment classes nor tuition class. Nonetheless, I remember we do not need to worry much about money and we still have food on the table. So during my second school day, I'm inspired by some of the entrepreneurs like Lee Ka-shing who started with a humble beginning. So I always wanted to enroll to a business school in Polytechnic. However, it was not easy for me because I did not uh, pass one of my English exams during uh, my secondary four. Right. And one of the minimum entry requirements to enter into the business course at Polytechnic is to pass uh, the English language at O level. So, like I mentioned earlier, I did not have the opportunity to go for tuition class. And it is uh, not easy for me because I need to rely on myself to improve my grade. So I can only attend as many remedial class uh, that my teacher conduct or learn from my peer to improve the grade. And with strong perseverance and all the hard work I put in eventually, uh, I passed my English and I did well in my O level and I managed to get into the business course I want at Polytechnic. And I enjoyed my learning at NYP and managed to score well and in fact I taught in my cohort. And this has allowed me to proceed to pursue a double degree in accountancy and business at NTU. So during my course of study at NTU, I developed passion in accounting and audit because I realized that I can apply what I learned to workplace. So I wanted to uh, join the audit industry and in fact I've done uh, three audit internships where I could uh, have tried something else yeah, and gain uh, quite a lot of experience and seeing different uh, company in various industries and after my graduation at, uh, from NTU I managed to uh, join one of the big four accounting firms right, to uh, hoping to gain extensive experience and uh, value add to the client businesses. However, after uh, about three years working with uh, the company, I realized that the work that I do may not be as impactful as I thought it would be, right? as client may not be receptive to our audit recommendation. In addition, as uh, most of us would know, uh, the nature of uh, audit is uh, very busy right? and there are a lot of uh, overtime. So when my uh, wife was pregnant with our first child. Uh, I think it's very tough because most of the time she was alone at home. And when I returned home, she was already asleep. So after my first child was born, I can only see some of her milestones like uh, first time calling Papa and first time flipping over through those videos that my wife sent to me. So I feel kind of bad, kind of guilty towards them as i thinking how can I be a better husband and better father and involve more in their life. So I keep reflecting on uh, myself and trying to think what I want to achieve in life. And also, I'm thinking what are the possible uh, job that I could do, and what are the possible career goal and aspiration can I have, given that I like accounting and want to uh, value add to the organization I work for. That was once. I saw the opening for the role of finance manager at Provident and I thought that is a great opportunity for me to apply because I can leverage on the strength that I have and all the knowledge and skill that I acquire from Polytechnic to university and at work to this new role. So I applied for it and I was accepted. After joining Provident, I realized my role here is very meaningful and a fulfilling one. For example, I can uh, always look at how I can improve some of the processes like uh, accounting processes and redesign some of the workflow to make it more efficient. I can also provide suggestions and work closely with my uh, colleague from other departments to improve the business performance of the company. As for HR and culture building, I'm also able to work with my HR consultant as well as the rest of the management team to constantly think how to make Provident a better place to work. For instance, when we were trying to enhance our performance management system, I do not want it to be a 
another form filling exercise. And I hope that our people can have a deeper and meaningful conversation between the supervisor and employee. So we created the performance enablement check-in where supervisor and employee come together to discuss what are their personal, family and even life goals so that uh, as a company we can help to support them and help them to grow together with the company during their time here. One of the common questions that I receive when I interview candidates is that why I join Provident? And I answer, it's less of why I join Provident and more of why I stay at Provident. There are mainly three reasons. One is the great culture at Provident. I love the culture over here because there are trust between the management and employee. We constantly having open communication to make sure that our employee understand what the company is doing and management will keep sharing uh, what we want to do and why we're doing some of the stuff. Secondly, my role at Provident allowed me to achieve my career aspiration, to constantly value add to the firm and help to improve the firm performance. Last but not least, it also allowed me to spend more quality time with my family so that I can be a good father, good husband and a good son to my family. During my orientation, I remember our CEO Christopher shared about the idea of contentment and philosophy of sufficiency. So yes, I can follow like my friend who job hop every two to three years to get 10 to 20% increment. But is that what I really want? Maybe not. I think that it is important for me to do what I want to achieve in life so that other goals in my life will not be compromised. To sum up, we all run our own race and we can decide the race we want to run. So I think it's important for us to keep thinking what we want to achieve in life and think about what matters to us most so that we can plan ahead and live our life to the fullest.